What were those memories like when you got back to Andy? I mean, what, what, what exactly did you start thinking about, you know, in January? Uh, you just kind of get those chill bumps, you know what I mean, walking through. Um, it's kind of... You remember a lot, you know what I mean? You remember a lot, but you remember a little at the same time because you know what you're here for. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing to kind of kind of remember where you were standing, where you knew the game was over, remember what triple zeros look like on the clock. Uh, it's a special feeling, remember the confetti falling, the celebration, but uh, you know, all of that stuff's gone now. You know, none of those, none of the national championship stuff here is all back to normal. So uh, yeah, this is definitely special. Uh, yeah, uh, I think for me, just kind of uh, the recollection of it all, uh, they, they'll teach you a play really fast. You got to be able to recall it. And uh, for me, I feel like that's one of my one of the things that makes me special, just my ability to recall plays, to understand schemes instead of just assignments. Um, and for me, uh, I enjoy that part of the game. I, I feel like I'm a very heady player, very knowledgeable player, and that kind of speaks to my versatility as well. So, uh, yeah, I enjoy that part of it. Yes, I have. I, I met with him briefly either yesterday or the day before. Uh, it's kind of a general brief conversation, but uh, I'm enjoying getting to know them more. Had you met with the Arizona Cardinals? Uh, yes, I believe I did as well. What about the Bengals? Yep, met with the Bengals as well. What was, the, what was your impression of the Bengals when you met with them? What, what were they trying to get across with you? Uh, kind of similar things. A lot of the meetings I had recently just have been, you know, kind of those general meetings of them trying to get to know me, me trying to get to know them. Uh, a lot of times they'll quiz you, see what you know, or try to see your uh, football IQ, see what you what you learned in college, uh, maybe teach you to teach them your favorite play uh, from college or something like that. Just kind of get an idea of what kind of player you are, how knowledgeable you are, and um, stuff like that. So, I, But I enjoy meeting them. Jamar, what kind of feedback did you get uh, from your week at the Senior Bowl? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, just showed a lot of versatility. A lot of people talked about how, how they enjoyed watching me show my versatility, um, enjoyed uh, how physical I was there. Um, um, just enjoyed watching me play, honestly. Uh, I know uh, talking to Coach uh, Coach Fraley from the Detroit Lions, he talked about how uh, versatile I was, how he felt like if he drafted me, he wouldn't have a problem with me understanding the playbook or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed my time there, Get learning from him, learning from that awesome staff. They did a great job coaching me. Is that a good position for somebody as well? Say that one more time. Yes, the position first to yeah. When uh, the kind of all over. I've kind of gotten questions about all all five positions. Um, I know everybody likes to kind of put me in that box of uh, inside guy uh, because of quote unquote lack of athleticism. But I've played in the SEC four years, good good four years. Uh, I think I've only given up two sacks to great players. Anytime my number was called on. Uh, to you hold a guy down or to, to do my job, I was there. I did it. I competed at the highest, highest level that I could. So uh, I think it's interesting that people like to say that, to not get a knock on my athleticism. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't think I've met with the Patriots yet. Yeah, uh, I remember Isaiah. Uh, he uh, helped recruit me. Uh, he got he. I, I watched Isaiah a lot. Actually, he's kind of very you know similar to me uh, in, uh, size wise, measurement wise. Um, but he's a great player, freaky player for the University of Georgia. Uh, helped recruit me. I remember meeting with him like one one G day. Kind of sat me down in the locker room. It's kind of just like you know this is the place you need to be. You know, Coach Pittman is this, this, and that. So yeah, I enjoy talking to him. Man, everybody speaks highly of him. That's played with him. So yeah. What about David Andrews? Uh. That David Andrews actually uh, did a play breakdown for us one week. It was kind of cool. Uh, listen to that guy, man. He's got a crazy football mind. You can tell why he's been in the league so long, uh, played on a great team. So, uh, yeah, definitely had an honor to meet him as well. Jamar, how excited, how excited are you to see George Pickens at the next level? Oh, man. Uh, I think uh, – it's kind of like a volcano waiting to erupt, you know what I mean? Everybody knows just how – everybody knows he's good, but I don't think people really understand how special he is. I mean, that's – that's one of those special talents, man. Like, a team would be lucky to have that on their roster. Like, he's – he's freaky. I'll say that. I'll leave it at that. Oh, yeah, no doubt. It's a different brand of football week to week. Um, it's physical. Physical football. Un un I don't think it's matched by any conference, in, me in my opinion, personally. Uh, and I've played teams from – Almost every conference now, or at least all the big, the big ones at least, Power Five. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's this is a different brand of football. The way that we lean on each other, the way that it gets physical, the practice habits, uh, going in and out every single day. I just don't think any conference can match that. And I think it's kind of very similar to the NFL. You know, you got very great players at every single position. There's no drop off. There's you know a guy can go down in the depth chart. You're like, oh, you know, the next guy can't be that good. Well, he might be a five star coming out of high school. You know, what I mean? he might be just as good as the first guy. So, I think for me, it's very similar to the NFL in that regard. But uh, obviously, there's a little different. But yeah, I think that that conference. Definitely gets you ready for that for that type of. Jamar, you yeah, have obviously hundreds of reps in tackle. Yet you said there's only two sacks. Do you remember those 
two plays. Who oh, yeah. you get out of those hundreds of reps you took out? Oh, yeah, no doubt. My first sack, gave, I gave up both sacks to the same team, Alabama. Uh, first sack, uh, Will Anderson jumped snap on me in the fourth quarter. Uh, just made a great football play. He, Great player. Uh, honestly, they been doing pretty well against me most of the whole game. But he jumped the snap, ended up grabbing Stetson. I was trying to run around the hoop, but he ended up getting his hands on Stetson, bringing him down late in the fourth quarter in the SEC championship. And the uh, second sack I gave up was, honestly, it, I was honestly really nervous about it. That was a national championship. Uh, Christian Harris, free, great, another great football player, kind of gave me a little hesitation move. I was at guard. It's like one of my first snaps at guard. And, uh, you know, he kind of beat me inside and I like, ended up giving a sack. Honestly, that could have changed the game. So I'm very fortunate, very blessed to have the defense that we had. Gave us a chance to be able to flip the game back on him. But uh, yeah, it's the only two sacks I've given in my career. So. How did Georgia flip that game? Got I think we just kind of made it simple. You know, uh, put the ball on the ground. We looked at the coach and said, Coach, let's go. You know, let's we put it on our backs. The offensive line, we were ready. Um, we wanted to get physical, uh, making a, a one dimensional game, eat up some clock as well. They had a very explosive offense, so we wanted to eat up some clock, keep their offense off the field, give our defense a break. You know, they just bailed us out again in that drive because of me. So, uh, yeah, we wanted to give them a break um, and be able to get physical, get physical with them, run downhill. And uh, you know, got it kick started with James hitting that big run. So. What does Georgia need to do to stay on top of Alabama and yes? I think just not forget the work that went into it. Um, you know, I talk about that a lot. It's just it's so much work that went into that that season, that national championship. It didn't just happen. You know, everybody likes to put it on the talent, but it, it was so much work. And I hope those guys never really undervalue what that work meant to this team, uh, the leadership that went into it. Um, um, it, it just all when I think about it, I just think about like you know we won a national championship, but I think about all the, the hard days we put into it, the practices, the meetings, and walkthroughs. It was, it was really special. Jamari, we hear the Alabama guys say they could have or would have won if this guy hadn't got hurt or that guy. I mean, how do you respond to that? I mean, obviously the SEC rivalries are what they are, but it seems like we're going to have a whole off season to hear in Alabama people saying they would have or could have should have won that game. The game's over. We scored more points. <laughs> in your four years, you had a lot of snaps. Who was the best guy you faced? <sighs> that's, that's all. That's, I've gotten that question a lot. Um, I mean, like, cause it kind of goes back to what, what DJ was asking me, man. It's, the SEC is, is freaky. So, uh, I mean, you would have a guy that kind of, like, everybody thinks is a, is a really good player and is a good player, but it kind of plays into what you're good at. And so to you, he may not be as much of a problem, but, you know, there may be that one guy that nobody talks about. He's like, man, this guy's a problem. He's fast. You know, he may be this, this, and that. And so uh, I think for me, there's a lot of talented players. Will Anderson, of course, is a really great player. Uh, King Kingsley and Barry, I don't want to butcher his last name. Really great player, South Carolina. Aiden Hutchinson, really great player. David Ojabo, I mean, I had to run in the mill. So that's why it's always, to me, it's kind of interesting. It's like I've played all these great players, rarely give up a sack. You know, I held my end of the bargain for, for, my, for my team, but it's always a question of my athleticism and never a question of theirs. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, yeah. Jamar, you were, you were a five star. Some of the guys here, 14 Georgia guys, some of them were three stars. How much do you look at the talent uh, that was on hand at Georgia? How much the coaches developed to get 14 guys here? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. Uh, you look at a guy like Jordan Davis, it's always a prime example. Uh, started off as a scout team player, kind of came in overweight. We all did, honestly, as freshmen, overweight, you know, kind of trying to find our way. And then this guy was playing my week six, you know, as a freshman, as an 18-year-old, I think he was 17, honestly, 17, 18-year-old kid. And so uh, it's kind of crazy to think about, like, you know, just the, the work. Like I said, it all comes back to the work. You know, those tough days, those days you're like, man, is this for me? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it kind of questions you sometimes, but you push through that. Uh, coaches are love on you, pat you on the back at the end of the day. Um, but, yeah, the development definitely was there. I don't think anybody should question that because talent – needs to be developed. I don't care what anybody says. Nobody really just walks in the door and plays. Even though it may seem like that from game one of their freshman year, fall camp and the spring workouts and summer workouts, that's development, and we all need it. After the SEC championship, the word was out that you guys seem to be out of shape. So yeah. Was that true, and how did you address it? Yeah, we did. Um, we addressed it. It was kind of one of those things where Coach Smart kind of sat us down as a leadership group, as a team, and I kind of just looked at those sober truths. One of them was that we were out of shape. You know, another one that we had a lot of wasted plays in that game. It um, wasn't really that they just whooped us. It's that we turned the ball over. And a team like that, great football, you turn the ball over, you out of shape, not doing things the right way, blowing, blowing coverage on the back end, you're going to lose. You're going to lose convincingly. So for us, we wanted to look at those shoots every single day and just get 1% better. If we can get 1% more in shape between now and Michigan, that's what we kept saying. If we can get 1% more in uh, uh, executing plays better, we'll be better. You know, So for us, it was kind of that race, of a uh, four, four-legged race between us and the, and the other four teams. You know, we wanted to get 1% better than them every single day. It seems like it was a couple of years ago you were working out with Andrew yeah. when he was preparing for this. Yeah. How much did working out with Andrew Thomas help you prepare for the combine, he's kind of gave me the insight, uh, as a, which is a blessing to me. Um, you know, he's it's always kind of been that way with me and Andrew. He's kind of always walked the 
walked uh, the hot road before I did and kind of cooled it down for me. So I'm always blessed to have him for that. Uh, but just being able to work with him, see, seeing how he went through it, everything, I honestly got to be very close to him because of COVID. You know, he was he actually stayed with us a lot um, in Athens until he had to ship out to New York. So I got to work with him a lot, a lot more than I probably would have got to work with a lot of guys that I'm younger than, that I'm older than. And so I'm blessed to be able to have had the opportunity, got to be able to see things from his perspective, talk to him, you know, talk about this and that. And uh, so it was it was awesome. I enjoyed it. You had to give a head coach one game. That's all you can show him is one game of yours. Which game would it be to say, hey, draft me? Uh, I'd say either the SEC championship this year or uh, maybe the Clemson game starting off. Starting off as a hot game for us. So, yeah, I enjoyed that game. Yeah, for me, so just becoming a more well-rounded player, um, being able to show my true versatility. I've been working on snapping a lot. Uh, snapping, a lot of teams want to make sure they got a center in me. I know they got a center in me. I, I practice center every single day in practice. Um, I snap uh, all the time. And so uh, for me, um, it's just one of those things that, uh, you know, I make sure that I know in my mind that that's, that is a good thing in my tool bag. And so just, just being a well-rounded player in that regard, showing my true versatility, um, being a smarter football player, that's going to be something that's going to be required at the next level, especially as a center, if that, if that opportunity presents itself. Um, and just, you know, recovering my body. It's been a long season. I uh, got, you know, however many games, plus the senior bowl on top of that. So for me, just recovering my body, making sure I'm in optimal shape to be able to compete. Uh, no, I'm I, honestly actually probably gonna save a lot of drills for the pro day for the pro day just to be able to give my body a full chance to recover, be able to, to show that my best, put my best product out there. Um, so yeah. Jamari, it seems like we we kind of gloss over that Clemson game now because the season took on its own life. But how important was it to win that game? A lot of people were saying, oh, it didn't really matter if you won or lost. You'd still control your own destiny. But how important was that game, and just how intense was that game when you look back on last season? I think if you look at the numbers and the rankings and this is and that. It didn't really matter, you know, from that perspective. And Coach Smart told us that going into it. But uh, for us, we want to win every single game that we played. Um, for us, it was a it was a matter of uh, their best against our. Do you think they're the best? And at the time, I think they were ranked ahead of us. I want to say, you think they're better than us? We're gonna put it on the line and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna duke it out. And so for us, that's what mattered to us. We wanted to be able to show that we were better than them just off a competition standpoint. Um, and then also just kind of a springboard, you know what I mean? Starting off hot, like they got a chance at that with that next year playing Oregon, I think in Atlanta. So uh, yeah, it's just kind of the, one of those springboard games that kind of. Uh, give you a chance to to be special. You know, you get games like that that kind of build confidence and enough confidence, enough talent, enough work, you get a national championship. So, Jamari, have you had a formal meeting with the Pittsburgh Steelers, or do you anticipate having one here at Indianapolis during the week? I have not. I, I would like to have one. I look forward to having one if, if the opportunity presents itself, but I haven't had one have yet. Have you talked to them at the senior bowl? I have talked to them. Uh, I talked to them informally here as well. So, uh, yeah, I met with them briefly. Jamari, do you have any goals that you want to hit in your uh, pro day or the combine here? Any speed goals or uh, rep goals you want to get? Uh, nothing off the top of my head. I don't want to put a number on it specifically. But I think for me, uh, you know, I've been a lot of what I've been working on has definitely been bench. Um, definitely wanting to hit up above 30, north of 30 on bench. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I like, I like bench press. I like working out in general. So, uh, you know, bench is definitely going to be probably my favorite thing, my most exciting thing I do there. Are you holding anything until pro day? Or are you doing everything here? Uh, no, I'll probably do all, a lot of all my workouts at pro day. Awesome. Give us a, a look at maybe some of the rising stars on the offensive line that are coming back for Georgia. Yeah, so, I mean, you talk about rising stars. We got we got Buku. Uh, we got uh, Broderick Jones obviously finished up in the national championship game against two great two great edge rushers they had. Um, you know, he's going to be special at that left tackle spot. Freak athlete coming to high school to play basketball, get dunk, all of that stuff. So, I mean, he's going to be a freak athlete holding down that left tackle spot. It's going to be it's gonna be competitive now. I know that for sure. I don't want to deem anybody at a certain spot, but I just know guys are going to be good. Amari's man is going to be a great player to look out for. Uh, Warren McClendon is coming back for his senior year. going to be a great athlete. Cedric Van Pran coming back and being a leader. Warren Erickson. Uh, Tate Rattlers. Getting Tate Rattlers back is going to be huge for those guys as well. Um, you know, wishing him a speedy recovery as well. Um, he's got great players. Um, you know, I can go down the whole list. Xavier Trust. You got Devin Willock. Looks like freaking a mountain walking through the locker room. Uh, and even the young guys that got coming in, I've heard they're really great players. Heard great things about them. So uh, I'm excited to see those younger guys develop. The Dylan Fairchild, the Jarrett Wilson, Michael Morris. Hey, Michael Morris is going to surprise a lot of you guys. So uh, I'm excited to see him. Were you surprised when you heard Coach Luke was leaving the staff? Yeah, I was. Uh, honestly, was very surprised. I just know his passion for the 
the game. Uh, if you've been around him, you know he's still got that fire. And you know when a coach typically steps away from the game, sometimes a lot of times you can see it coming. You can see him kind of fizzling out or maybe not so energetic every single day. But Coach Luke was energetic every single day. Uh, had a spark every single day. Kind of gave us a spark to go practice, go work hard every single game, every, every single game, every single day. So uh, it's kind of surprising for me. But uh, you know I respect his decision. Uh, it makes sense to me. He's very, very much a family man. So I can see it from that perspective as well. Who's the best player that you faced when you played on the interior, as well as the best player that you faced when you're on the outside? In my career or this season? This season. This season, outside, I'd probably say Will Anderson. Very high motor guy, freaky athlete, great great pass rush on third down. He's kind of probably the most well-rounded player I've played against uh, in, uh, as far as on the edge of my career. Uh, I'd say interior um, for Darian Mathis. Mathis was a good player. I didn't play interior as much this season, but uh, yeah, for Darian Mathis was a great player. I mean, their whole front was really good, really great player. So uh, yeah, that's that's. How, how are you describing your game, and what do you want teams to know about you? Uh, so I'm a versatile football player. That's number one. I'm a physical football player. I'm, I'm a Georgia bred, UGA Georgia dog football player, and we we were physical every single day in practice. You've seen us practice. We get physical. We get to it. We enjoy practice, and we enjoy the, the grind and the work. So I'm a grind. I'm a worker. Um, I'm consistent. I'm relentless. Um, but I'm also a very smart football player. I'm a great kid. I have great character. I'm a, I'm a high character guy. That, that speaks for itself. You can ask anybody and ask them that question. That's, that's it's going to echo because that's what I take pride in is being a high character guy, not having, my, having to put my family in positions to have to answer for me for anything that I've done or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, but I'm a very vers versatile football player, very smart, understand schemes really well, um, and I'm ready to learn. I'm an open football player, and I want to help a team win a Super Bowl. So. Yeah, he's going to be a, a great football player, a great young kid. I talked to him a little bit after the game. Uh, he's going to be special. He's going to be a great football player. So I'm excited to see him develop as well. All good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.